Which church do you think is the best? Jehovah Witness, Mount Union Fire, Catholic, Anglican, or type the church you think is the best if I even mention it. The honest truth is that none of them is better or preferable if they lack these few things that I'm going to be listing today. Number one is truth. Nowadays, churches focus on things that satisfies the flesh. What do I mean, you ask? They mostly now preach about money, wealth, blessings, all that sweet stuff that will bring you to church. You might be wondering, what should you be going to church to pray before, if not for blessing and the, and the good things in life? I feel like this is a mistake that people mostly make. The thing God is like the genie that, you know, if you check the kettle and he will just ask you what you want and he will grant it to you. That is not how it works. I have this neighbor. I hope he doesn't view this video no matter what. Yeah. This neighbor, he always tries to argue with me about people being religious in Nigeria. His point was that if there is money, if there is wealth, if there is no suffering or corruption in the country and there is work, there are works available, the people won't be that religious any longer. Like Nigerians won't be religious any longer. You no, know, I got his point in the part of being religious, just going to church. Because I got his point in that part, I then said, okay, you know, I get your point and I don't think people should even go to church just for the purpose of, you know, blessing and miracles and all that no you should go to church to seek god then he then tries to stop me and my point because he has he has something to say what i got from the man is that people truly think that to worship god means you know asking for things and things and things in life generally you need to have money you need to be comfortable like you cannot have any excuse not to be comfortable but people that are unbelievers who think that you know it's all about the money now unbelievers work hard why believers work smart god will keep giving them idea or he will help them identify their life purpose faster so that they can live their whole life not stressing over anything in believers life god will put you in a position where where money can't even distract you from your life purpose asking 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 will depress you and funny thing that they will use that Bible passage that says, as it shall be given to you, you know, seek it shall be. That Bible passage actually is talking about a different, they say seek God. He's talking about seeking God, you know, coming to God. There is no way, God is not hidden. If you want him now, 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 you say, God, please let your presence be known to me. God is not going to hide himself to you. The truth is that every day of our lives, we need to we need to be receiving the word of the God of the Lord. We need to be hearing the truth every day. And if the church is not giving us feeding us the truth every day, then you need to leave that church and look for another church. Be watch online anywhere. Just make sure you are receiving the truth and also be in your house praying, studying the word of God. Nowadays, preachers preaches with their wisdom. And the Bible says that a man's wisdom, that is human beings' wisdom, is like stupidity to him. Or how did he, I forgot how he placed it, but human wisdom is more like stupidity in his sight. Do you know how deep that is? That's when you think, you think you are wise, you think you are brave, you, you are intelligent. God is saying, oh my God, this boy is actually stupid. <laughs> So if your preacher, if your church doesn't reference what is the what is in the Bible every day, or their point has nothing to do with the Bible, my girl, my boy, my 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 people, run, run for your life, okay? Rescue your soul. There is this church, my old church. They only talk about Saint this one, the journey of how they went to Damascus, how they did this, how they did this. I'm not preaching about hell, I'm not preaching about hellfire. Well, even when someone preaches about hellfire, they will want the person or they'll change the person's position, that kind of thing. Is that not bondage? If your church is high, you is they always okay, let me just say if your church is always sticking to one part of the Bible, that leaving the rest for it to be a mystery. Question it. Okay? Question and wrong.
if your church is always judging, judging, saying this is condemning everything, condemning everything, without having any tangible passage from the Bible to back it up, run. They are just condemn us. Jesus doesn't condemn us. We are sinners. He died for our sin. But he never condemned. If he was praying for us in the on the cross when he was about to die, he was still praying for us. Tell me, we're supposed to live in the likeness of God. So if he doesn't condemn, who are you to condemn? So the final part is ten commandments and curses. I feel like what churches should like have like this big gigantic book that is made of rock in the middle of their courtyard that says or outside the gate anyway that so people will be saying it that will just try the whole ten commandments to get right so that every day of human beings like they'll be looking at the scene and they will come children will find that interesting we are planning to educate the children now when is there everybody will be passing and be seeing it every day of their life just in case the pastor forgets to mention about the ten commandments on a sunday the people can go outside and be reading it every day of their life which you get you can even take picture there and if they are seeing the picture they will still read it and remember very good it's also good for churches to remind their members of the punishments of sin i feel like people shy away from that a lot in fact i see that um, people stop attending churches when the pastors are preaching the truth and when they start, you know, saying the right things, people start to run away from church. Regardless, you need to keep preaching the truth because if not, you don't want to suffer for it at the end of the day. But every church is need to, you know, remind their members of the Ten Commandments and the courses of not obeying the commandment. I'll put the verses on the screen just in case you want to go check it out. It's in Deuteronomy. Okay, that is Old Testament. I feel like Bible just gives guideline on how to live. Right? Proverb: Your sins have consequences. Hell is real. Sins are real. Okay. So fix your life right now, or by fire, by full baptism. Okay. So that is all for this video. I will see you all next time on my YouTube channel.